welcome to digital dental technology solutions this is the second part of the video how you can create others with three shape for different respirations so let's start in the patient information you can write the last name of the patient and you can see here it's appeared here and then you can write first name also so now last name appears on the order number you can change this one with your unique order step number anything you have with your other anything perhaps lab your lab slips then let's go if first we talk about the simple uh, full anatomical crown anterior or posterior if you want to make anterior or posterior we will just select the relevant tooth and then we go to the anatomy first option and then we select this one if it is a crown we we'll select this one then in the plus sign in the when you go to the plus sign you will find in the there is a option called material you can check what which material you want to mill this is zirconium number procedure zir it's a wax, it's a PMM, it's a titanium, it's a comb, cobalt. What you want to mill, you will select the relevant material. It's a Emax. Any material you want to mill, you will select here. So, this is option is for the material, which material you want. Every material has its specific settings in the system. So, keep in mind. And then, is the color. And select any color it will not matter and then you can select the type it's also related to the material select the type anything and then there is a manufacturer and then there is a manufacturer process the most important thing is the manufacturer process so don't forget this one select what you want you want a SEL and Came. you have your own manufacture process you can select that so this is for the how you can select a simple anatomical crown now if you want to select a bridge what you will do that you will select the the abutments as the full crown and the pontic area you will select that if you want to make pontic you can select them and go to the same not me section and select the pontic option is on the second it's called it's in the green <coughs> crown pontic you will select this one and then you say same you will select the material and the manufacturer process after that you will select all the crowns and make them bridge When you select the bridge, you have three options. First, for the other coin. Second is for the bars, implant bars. And third, if you're going to make wax up, third so option for the wax up. And then the type. In the type, you have the cross sections of the thickness of the diameter. You can select this one from here. You also you can change this one in during the design. This type of the connector so this is for the bridge if you want to make bridge for the anatomical bridge now let's talk about the how you you want to deselect the select the thing you want to deselect and then go to the option and make it where we select it same for the bridge now we'll talk about the veneers, inlays, onlays, just select the tooth you want to make restoration and go to the anatomy. Then you have options for the onlays, inlays, and then you have option for the veneers. This is for the inlays, onlays, and veneers. After selecting this one, you will select the same thing so material, you want T max, and then you will select the process. Same for the inlay, if you want to make inlay, you will select this one, inlays, onlays, and then you will select the material, what you want here, 
on zirconium you want emax you want pmma now we will select here you want wax anything this is for the inlays and for the onlays and the veneers well, let's talk about some other options in the same first anatomy section you want select one crown or there you will find some options here first option is the temporary crown if you have a model and you want to make a temporary crown digital you will select this one if you have temporary crown tape you will select this one and if you have prepared model and you want to make temporary you will select this option temporary on prepare model and if you want to make tabletop you will select this option tabletop this is it regarding the these four options putting for the temporary crown and the tabletop now let's talk about if you want to mail a nothing bulb opening or copying how you will select this one so select the tooth you want to make copying and go to the second option in the right side is called frame the frame you will find first option is for the copying if you're going to mail a simple copying you will select this one and second option is the pontic normal pontic and the third option is the not typical copying you want to make not typical copying or you want to make facial cutback then you will select this option uh, anatomical coping if you want to make facial cutback you will select this option and same if you want to make facial cutback for the pontic you will select this anatomical pontic option the, or the last is for the back up want to going to scan a back up you will select this option so how you can make bridge with the frame just select the tooth you have there and then select the on tick then select them again all once with the left click and go to the bridge you will make bridge same thing here when you are selecting this you have to go here and you have to check your material which material you want to select you want to use you will select that material and also the manufacturer process now oh, i will show you how you can um, select order for implant butt plant or the implant screw train crown so select the tooth you want to make the crown crown then go to the butt plant section so third on the right side butt plant section first you are going to make a customized butt plant only customize the butt plant you can select this one Second option is the anatomical butt point. If you are going to make cutback, facial cutback, or you are going to make anatomical butt point, you can select this one. And the third option is you are going, if you are going to make a screw train crown, then you will select this option. And uh, then there is a back up you can use as a back up. And after selecting the relevant, you, you will find there is a down there is a first option is a category the category if you go you will find the implant libraries that you have downloaded on your system so you will select any library you want in trading and make anything that is relevant to your crown you will select that and then the system first you will select the implant library then there is a system system in which company implant you are going to use you are going to use camlog noble ostium and more bone level anything that's going to you you will select that relevant and in the kit there is also third option is the kit this is np or rp or regular so um, saturate is a narrow and you will select relevant that after that you will go to the plus sign again you will select the material which material you want to build this one so zirconium si max you select the relevant material and then you will select also the manufacturer process and there is in the after in the plant section there is also one option called group if you are selecting multiple crowns then you can 
if you are making them one bridge then you can put them one group to make them one insertion direction same if you want to make a bridge with the implant you will select the pont tick option using if you are making them a not fungal pont tick or if you are going to make them full pont tick then you select from here and then also you will select the other Arting your implant, what implant system you are going to use, and then you will select them all and make them a bridge. So this is for the implant crown and the bridge. Now, if you want to select uh, gingiva with the implant bridge, just uh, follow me. First, we will select uh, one bridge for the implant. Just have a look, select the tooth. You want to make bridge like bow tooth, go to the butt front section, select what you want. You want full crown, full anatomical, just select it. In the atom, select your implant library. In the implant library, select your system and then select your kit. And also, don't forget to select your material which material you want for the mill that and then select also the manufacturer process for selecting this one you will need to select the pontic select the tooth you want to make pontic and go if you're making full and artery then go to the option select the crown pontic and here you need to if you make this one breach and you can see After making the bridge, now there is option called gingiva on the right side under the bridge. You will select this one and you can see it automatically gives you a line indication for the gingiva. The gingiva you have three options. First option for the denture gingiva and second option if you are going to make a full anatomical gingiva or if you want to make a with the cut back. And you are going and select relevant and that's all for the if you are going to make implant bridge with the gingiva and after that if you want to make scan post you can use select here and you can select the scan post and there is also option for the removal partial dentures you can select the remote partial dentures if you are going to make the models so if you can see these options for the model if it's not active because we have in the object tag we have model we make this one digital impression and then we select this one and you will find this option has enabled for the model so if you want to make a model then you can select this one you can see automatically and the model option the first section I dished second is solid model but uh, cut die and third one is the unsectioned model and then last is the dies if you want separate dies you want solid model and if you want model and the separate dies so select the relevant what you want and if you want to make compliance then there is a option compliance and if you your CAD is a uh, Connected to the implant planning software, you can select other here. So that's all. And uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel for the next steps for how to design the different respirations with three shape. So stay tuned and have a good day. And that's how you can use 3D face scan in three shape coming soon. So stay tuned.